All right, thank you for staying with business today. We are back and Willy Kimani is still here with us and we are speaking about the retail sector in Kenya. Thank you so much. Karibu. All right, so when you look at the retail industry, now that we have a lot of, um, uh, it's, it's really flooded. Yes. How do you stay different from the others as um, a, a retail uh, by yourself? Um, I have to say that it's, uh, the, the retail market is, again, defining it both ways. Uh, you have to innovate. And the innovation has, comes in different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, you so careful with the new innovation on checkout. Um, you've seen the food market concept um, done perfectly well by, by Naivas and uh, having almost 25% of the square footage of their stores happening on the same way. Mm -hmm. um, and other players are actually working different. On our end, um, as Jazza, what you've actually done is actually going in more so for private label and just getting that whole private label product choice coming in and winning in the market. And that, in most cases, is more of a pricing bit. I have to tell you this, there, there are four different segments of this, which, uh, if you allow me to explain. Mm -hmm. One, you have the modern trade players, and within the modern trade players, um, location is key, and that's where, which is the best mall. For example, the amount of per square foot sales that you actually get in a Surrey center, Mr. Vista per square foot sales that you're getting in an, a, a mall that is in the neighborhood and all sorts of things, you find that also defines it. So there is that definite role push to get that bit. So within the modern trade players, they'll be looking for that. When it comes to general trade players, when you actually, these, these are your Mahitajis of this world, your Gilanis of this world, what you find is that um, they, 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 they need then again the food soldiers and how much they can be able to get to their particular locations. Within general trade, you have also seen other players. There were circles of this world, Market Force, Twiga, mm. uh, and the like, who now don't have brick and mortar, but what they have is more of the agents and all that. And again, there they also have to innovate. They have to be the most easiest of applications to actually do. Now, uh, where Jaza sits is different from all the four. We actually what is called a hard discounter. A hard discounter sits in between modern trade, general trade, because what we have is we are selling items in bulk. This is, um, for example, get a bill of unga, and we sell it at wholesale price, but we allow you to pick one, one, one at a singular price, which mm -hmm. makes us a discounter. So we are basically offering everyday customers that bit. And still then, it has to have that element of hard uh, uh, ways of getting the consumer because you have to get to reach them. For example, my, my, our current stores are at um, Buruburu, Kayole, but I still need to get to the customer who is in Kilelesho and everyone, and that's why we innovate. For example, we have done what is called a WhatsApp e-commerce. You just need to message 07, 4000, 2000. Mm -hmm. And within that bit then, we simplify it because guess what? Um, most smartphones in the country, um, most, most users, they'll be owning phones between 2,000 to 7,000, and they can't take any more apps. So then how do you innovate within the retail environment and just be able to still get to that particular customer? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And now, uh, one more question. When you look at uh, sustainability of uh, such, uh, for example, like a Jazza discounter, um, how, how sustainable can you be, especially in an economy where Sometimes the inflation is affecting the, even the, the mode of uh, living of uh, citizens. It's affecting production. So how do you stay um, sus uh, sustainable and make sure that at least throughout these uh, various different um, seasons that we have, you are staying afloat? Uh, the ecosystem of a retailer is all about product availability. And that means, one, working with your suppliers perfectly. It means making sure that at any one given point, your suppliers are able to service you, and you actually have what is called joint business plans. And the joint business plan now is where you're actually defining all the variables that will affect uh, how you trade that particular month. So you're agreeing on these are the particular volumes that um, you will have for, for, for the year, and if you actually hit that target, how? These are the marketing enablers that you definitely have. This is how you're going to pay yourselves. And then most importantly is the service levels, meaning I need what is called a case fill. A case fill means if I've ordered 100, then I should be able to get 95, that, that's a 95% case fill rate. And making sure that that is actually now that bit and, and having it properly well signed off so that you ensure mm -hmm. you get that. And people have different ways and people routes. For example, at Jaza, what we've done is we have centralized our, our warehouse operation. All our suppliers do not supply to the stores. They supply to our, 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 our distribution center. We have a 40,000 um, square foot distribution center. Mm -hmm. And from there, we take uh, products ourselves to the the the, the 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 stores which ensures that product availability is there because that competitive nature if you don't get it 
at the end of the day, as you said, the most important thing is the two, the two guys, customers uh, and the product. Uh, and of course, the, uh, now the, part, the great partnership that you have is between you, the, your suppliers, and you, the retailer. So getting that actually correct and working with the right partners. And that means, of course, the, which is always the elephant in the room, which is the prompt payment, making sure that you keep to your trading terms, make, uh, making sure that when you, whatever you're agreed, mm -hmm. you're able to actually work on the same. All right, uh, Willie, we have to just hold it right there and uh, end the conversation. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. It is Willie Kimani, who is the director at Jazza Discounter, speaking to us about the retail sector and what we are looking at in 2024. All right, now we have to stop it right there and I'll